Hey guys, it's Enemy K Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon 2 on Nintendo Switch. This is the second of six global test fire events, so please check out any you might have missed. We're gonna connect and get right into it, and we'll be able to see two brand new maps and four weapon sets. We can choose ours right here. I'm gonna start with the dualies because it's the brand new weapons sub and special, so you get all this new stuff. And there's something I really want to try out. So you can roll with the dualies if you watched my my first global test fire, you saw me rolling around, shooting at people, getting that condensed beam with the two guns to do more damage and fire faster and all those advantages. But there's another thing you can do with the dualies that I didn't realize. If you're firing in the air, you can actually do like a tactical air dodge squid roll down to the ground. And we're going to try that out. There's a couple other things I want to try as well. There's uh, something special on the waiting room screen. If we get a little more time there, I'll try that out. But also, if you need to respawn, there's a uh, very handy thing that you can do with the map, just pop it up. Instead of having to look down at the gamepad, because we actually have to pop the map up, you can just do that whenever, but it also works really well when you're respawning, so that's something I'll have to try, kind of preemptively get myself ready to super jump if I need to. One thing about these new maps that I've noticed, though, is they are pretty compact and, uh, and condensed enough where you might not need to actually super jump anywhere too, too often. Somebody right over there, I just saw him. Trying to hit him from there is gonna be tough. We got a roller. Oh, oh, let's see if I can tactical roll and, oh no. <laughs> well, that's a new death. We got splatted by the inkjet, but it was the the jets underneath. I didn't realize that was possible, but it makes sense. So that's, uh, that's a new way to die that we discovered. But yeah, once we jump in the air, let me try this here. Gonna find another. There we go. Oh, I kind of did it. I need a bigger jump to really show it off, I think but we're gonna try to get into a better spot here towards the center. This is a really good spot to throw the new curling bombs because they go all the way across there, which I really like. Okay, let me try this. Jump and tactical air roll down to the ground. It's so fast. You can just kind of jump and put yourself out there and then not really have to worry too much about taking that damage from that. Oh no! <laughs> well, there's the swimming pool underneath. We saw that last time. But yeah, we can open the map already and see. Yeah, there we go. It even tells us when we're respawning to get ready with that map and uh, figure out where you want to go. But yeah, the uh, the inkjet, of course, if you go where there's no ground, you're going to fall down a bit and uh, have to deal with that. There we go. Let's get out of there before we get splatted. Get my ink back. We really need to take the center here because they're, they're kind of wiping the floor with us right now. Try to get in here and roll around. They've got their own inkjet going on, though. Try to take them down quick. Oh, there they go. Ah, jeez. We're in a bad way here. <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh, they were jumped back to their other spot. And I can't actually get up from the angle that I'm at. So this is not going to be good for me. Okay. That's not going too bad yet. <laughs> we can still win this. I just got to get out of the way and not get snuck up on them. Where'd they go? Oh, they're right there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm <laughs> having a tough time adapting to... Uh, to the dualies and having to locate yourself, obviously, when you're rolling. Oh, jeez. Yeah, now I'm gonna just kind of preemptively look at what we need to do. This is definitely a best, good time to look at the map when you're respawning. I think, uh, I think the dualies, having the, uh, the roll, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to exactly where you can, you know, how you're gonna roll when you're aiming, and, uh, it just, it is corresponding to the direction, so it's not, like, completely random where you're gonna roll, obviously. It's, it's something you can control. But at the same time, it can be a little, it's a little crazy to get used to. Ooh, where did they go? They jumped down there. And we got a, uh, let's see if I can time this right. Nope, they're kind of in that other spot. I really actually just need, oh, I did get them. Okay, we really need to get turf there at the end. I was kind of focusing on splatting those two. Hmm, that looks like pink team probably won, unfortunately. Yep, the bad guys won, but at least little Judd Jr. is, uh, is happy. So yeah, that was, uh... That was cool learning that you could do that air dodge. I didn't realize that that was even possible. So I'll have to use that, you know, bring that into the the repertoire of uh, dodges and <laughs> different moves that the, the dualies can do. Look at his little sad, dejected twirl. He's like, aw, I thought I was cool with these, but I guess it didn't work out. Okay, so let's listen here on this loading screen music. Whoa. So it might be kind of tough to hear there, but you can just use any of the controls, like the sticks and the buttons, to warp and kind of remix the, the reggae music on the waiting screen. So it's uh, 
nice little addition there that they added to kind of keep you occupied while you're waiting for the match to begin. And also, you know, because the, uh, the gamepad isn't used, we don't have Squid Jump or anything, but they might have other stuff added in, you know, when the full game comes out. I wonder if they'll have some other things that you can do, because you don't really need to be sitting watching everyone who's joining necessarily. They could probably bring up some other game to check out when that's, uh, when the full game is out. But they'll, they'll have more mini-games, I'm sure. It doesn't seem like something that they would cut completely out of Splatoon entirely. Got somebody down there. See if we can kind of cover a lot of this. I do have my inkjet. I just got to be careful where I actually decide to go with it. Because, again, it, it's weird to get used to the fact that you're hovering, but if you go down a level, you're going to have to adapt to the different ground changing underneath you, making things a little tougher to... Uh, got someone right there. Let's see if we can get in. Oh, I got both of them with it. The curling bomb's blast radius is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. So I mentioned with the curling bomb before, it actually has to explode for you to get the uh, the full damage and take someone out. So you have to time it right, and you can hold it down longer to, uh, to throw it out just, you know, slightly and blast people that way. But at the same time, yeah, you really want to be learning how to time your stuff. Ooh, jeez. We got a roller right here. Oh my gosh. I think I got him. There we go, okay, yeah. Gotta really roll and focus fire. That's the biggest thing that I'm not quite used to yet, is uh, learning when to roll and do that so I can get that concentrated blast and uh, take him down easier. No one's been hitting this other side area, so I'll let my curling bomb do the work there. And then maybe uh, boost up be enough to take this guy out. Man, you gotta be a little more accurate with the blast from the ink jet if you want to hit him. It's kind of like a blaster. It shoots out that that ball of gloop that you really gotta time right if you wanna get the splat. I think we're doing better this time though. You can see, yeah, the top screen whenever, or at the top with the little squids, you can see when, what weapons everyone has, but obviously you can, you know, see who's alive and who's not, who's in danger of losing whichever team. But another thing that's cool is that the, uh, the squids up there will have a rainbow color when they are, ooh, this is bad. Oh my gosh. The, the squids will glow, glow with this rainbow look when they have their special ready, so you kind of know a little bit better when you can do that. And we got a kid running away. He's trying to get out of there. Here comes another one. Let's see if we can hold that and throw it in there. Oh, it didn't blow. I, I don't know if it blew up, but we didn't get anybody with it, unfortunately. We can roll in and take him out. Oh, jeez. Didn't do that quite right. Here we go. Inkjet time. Somebody's hiding in the corner. They're trying to escape. They're having a tough time squidding away. There they go. Oh, they're going this way. So maybe this is time to throw one of those off. Well, they didn't go. They didn't go where I wanted. They're getting so much turf though. Got to hurry and uh, take them out. Ooh. <laughs> Almost had one more splat. Unfortunately, yeah, he didn't get in there time in, in time. But we did win. So that's what is uh, more important. I gotta be careful though. So when people super jump in, I keep forgetting. The fact that they could have the splashdown, if they're using a roller, they could jump in and, and hit you with that special. Which, let's switch over to the roller. Let's let's play a couple matches with that, so we can get to see it. That outfit, the, the outfit that you occasionally get on the one kid with the sideways visor, the like 80s track, 80, like early 90s track jacket that I would have worn in kindergarten probably, and the open-toed like Velcro sandals is uh, <laughs> it's a look. I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm really hoping that the rumor that I heard is true, that we can take different abilities and put them on different gear looks, so you can kind of choose what gear you want visually. At the same time, though, that could be confusing, because people people might go by the gear look as they do in the first game and try to use that as an indicator of what ability you got on your stuff. Like, you always know, you know, if you got the uh, part-time pirate and everything, you know, you got the... Uh, damage up, I think, was the one on that. <laughs> I picked an example, and I couldn't remember what the ability is on that that one. We got somebody over here. So, the roller, we have this vertical flick. I mentioned that before. Ooh, jeez. Throw that in, and ooh, almost got hit by somebody else's stuff. They're trying to get out of there because they threw that suction bomb, but maybe they'll go into that one. We do have a charger in the background. He's making my life rough. Here comes a splashdown, though. I got one of them. Somebody right there. Ooh, there they are. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> exerting myself, as you can hear. No, the uh, the splashdown. I kind of I haven't used it too much on uh, on uh, super jump, but that is the main use for it because people will 
not see you doing that, and oh jeez, that's a practice charger, I can tell. They know what they're doing. But yeah, the splashdown, a really great way to super jump in. Unfortunately, if you're respawning, you won't have it, because you probably lost the, uh, the special charge, but at the same time, there's one that just activated right there. Uh, at the same time, though, it is nice if you, you know, you got a little bit of ink on you to be able to use that when you want. He's right there. Just saw him. Where'd they go? Oh, got somebody blasting us with the Tenta missiles. Oh, yeah, this is this is getting dicey here because they've got us backed up on the bridge. Jumping in. Get him. There we go. All right. So, yeah, you, you don't have to do a super jump to get a little bit more from that splashdown. But it does help sometimes to have that. Ooh, somebody's behind me, aren't they? Oh, look out. There's an ink jet, or a stingray, rather. Ooh, they're right there. Ah, I tried to get them, and then the stingray took me out through the uh, through the wall. That's the big advantage, kind of like the killer whale. So we're seeing a lot of specials in this match. It's a good grab bag of different specials. I think their charger, not to knock anybody else here, but it really seems like their charger is doing such a good job at helping them survive really well and uh, lock down the center area. So i got to be extra careful about walking around. I do want to get turf, though, as much as I can before the ending, of course. All right, let me see if I can super jump into anyone. We've got somebody over there. I'm going to try this. I don't know if anyone's around them, but here we go. Nope. <laughs> there was nobody around, but I wanted to show the bigger blast of the... Oop. Oop. There's another splashdown going on, but they didn't have the super jump going, so didn't get as much out of it. This is just mayhem here, but we're having a tough time. Oh, there they are. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Tried to get the vertical flick on them. I think my team either lost someone or they're just, yeah, the blue team seems to have the better players right now. And we only have a few seconds left to try to do this. Thrown out the special at the end. Insult to injury for pink team. Uh, Face of Mercy in the chat, he's asking, how long is this going to be playable? So there's six of these this weekend. They're an hour long each. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Lots of blue ink. Uh, so each one's an hour long. It's kind of like a, a stress test on the game so they can see how things are going. We had a Dooley player that was having a rough time. It looked like uh, Pop Candy. Man, jeez. They were doing really well. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the test fire is very similar to the first game where there are limited time stress tests on the game. You can play for that hour, you know, as many matches as you can get in. And I was even able to get some bonus... I got one bonus match, but I saw people say, if you stay in after the uh, the test fire ends, the hour ends, you can maybe get a few matches in before they close things down a couple minutes after, you know, 15 minutes or so after the hour. So we might get some bonus matches here. But yeah, the, uh, the test fire is... Yeah, I, I know it's a lot of people are like, why can't we just play as much as we can? But it is really... Uh, as much for the developers as it is for the players. It's a, a chance for us to try this game out as a demo, but it's also meant for them to make some adjustments to how the game works, depending on what they see happen in these matches. Gotta go a different way from that guy, because he's getting a lot of that turf. Yeah, the vertical flick is so cool on the roller now. I'm very happy to see that added in, and I hope that it extends to the brushes when we get, you know, brushes revealed. Curious to see what those are going to look like, too. It'll be really interesting to see what the redesigns for the brushes look like. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the fact that we can get that vertical flick is really cool, because now we actually can compete with some of the chargers and uh, maybe actually take them out. So we got them there, I think. I was not a part of that, really. I kind of scared them a little bit, but not enough to <laughs> take them down. And yeah, it's going to be really great for matches, or maps with vertical walls and stuff, and climbing up those. Because I know that's a big issue for a lot of the rollers, and especially the brushes. It's like, I might as well not play the brushes on certain maps like Flounder Heights in the first game, because I'm just going to have trouble with them. We can get up here, and maybe jump in and throw that down. There we go. Careful here, though. Got somebody who's going to give me trouble if I'm not... If I'm not, you know, making sure I don't overextend myself. So there they are. Where'd they go? Going down there. And then, I know that sniper's got it out for me. There they go. Yeah, alright. Yeah, the vertical, you gotta really have to be pretty direct with the vertical flick of the roller, or else you're gonna maybe not take him out with one flick, and that's tough to deal with with the roller. You know, you don't have all the time in the world to flick there. Ooh. Okay, we got him. 
yeah, the, the fight for the middle here. I mentioned uh, the maps being pretty compact. It's super jumping doesn't seem quite as useful on these first two maps that we're getting. So it's like, it's definitely a thing where I think we'll see a lot more super jumping when we get into uh, other stages when those get revealed. But right now it is like the the two the uh, Muscle Forge Fitness, the one we're playing on, and the Reef are so compact they feel more like Walleye Warehouse, where we might not need to do that as much. But it's also yeah the it means that the center of the stage and a lot of the inkable areas, you've got to keep those locked down or you're going to not be able to win the match. It's like it could easily turn around. It's uh, It kind of reminds me of Hammerhead Bridge in the first game where it's uh, super super quick to, to lose the turf that you might have. I felt some of that HD rumble, <laughs> the advanced haptic feedback. I could kind of hear that someone was uh, doing something. Sounded like maybe a uh, Tenta missiles or something. Oh, I thought they were gone. They weren't. They were still camping out there. All right, if we if we lock this down, we should be okay. We got a charger moving in. Oh, careful! Oh, they are. All right, somebody else got him. Yeah, getting the uh, getting the right flick down to take people out is going to be key here. There we go. Because the horizontal flick, obviously, more damage, wider spread when you're closer, but the vertical flick is. Uh, Definitely good for getting chargers and stuff that are kind of far away from you, typically. Poor little baby Judd, his little foot twitched when he fell over. We did pretty good there. All right, four splats and uh, managed to win it. Okay, let's uh, let's switch to another weapon. I didn't try too much of the splatter shot because I mentioned splatter shot kind of the, the balanced weapon in the game, but it has that cool uh, Tenta missiles special that is uh it's kind of like the ink strike but a little more situational you gotta it depends on the players being around how much turf you're gonna cover with it so let's try at least a couple matches with this and i'll go to the chat as we're loading and also play with the uh there we go can bring the volume down and up Ooh. <laughs> there's all these different effects using the uh the music there on the waiting screen so that's kind of cool all right so, ch 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 Eric asks about Breath of the Wild. There's a new episode out, if you didn't watch it already. And, uh, ooh, we got a lot of rollers on my team, so I'm glad that I used the splatter shot and not a roller. We probably wouldn't have gotten in this group otherwise, though. Because, yeah, the, the weapon balancing is going on in these lobbies for sure, because a lot of the teams will have one of each weapon. It seems like they're really trying to keep it pretty well balanced. But at the same time, yeah, you can, you can have a lot of people using certain weapons. The splat dually is obviously very popular right now so hot right now because <laughs> they're uh they have all the uh the new stuff on them new sub new oh i forgot i have the burst bomb here so i gotta play it a little safer there we go he try oh man mid mid uh let's see if we can get this guy before he ink gets me with that ink line Ooh, that was a really risky yeah i shouldn't have gone out there i should have waited um but yeah he i saw that roller going for the splashdown and i managed to actually take him out before he landed so all these specials there's definitely a theme to the specials uh being kind of vulnerable if you're not careful with them you got to make sure you're using them at the right time in the right place or you will get taken out from you know misusing them obviously it's gonna make you a big target a lot of them do kind of direct a lot of attention to you get someone over in the center i'm gonna use my burst bombs and see if we can get a little more damage on you know from afar before I move in. But the burst bombs, I gotta remember, they uh not gonna work so well without some damage up. There's the Tenta missiles. I locked on a bunch of people. Let's see if we get anyone. Yep. Oh, we got all three of them. Okay, this is really the time to push this center part of the map because they only have one person left alive on their team. So if I can take a lot of this turf, that would be great for our team. Now they're all pushing in. Gotta be careful here. They might have the range on me. But I'm not. No, oh, he's got a splatter shot as well, so gonna probably be able to get me. I don't know what happened with my teammates. I'm trying my best here to uh, keep this locked down. My teammates are all over the place here. Oh, the side area is obviously still important though, so it's like, make sure we're keeping those locked as well, but at the same time, it's uh, gonna be rough holding this on my own. We got a whole team against me. Nope. Almost. Oh man, I got blasted behind. <laughs> all the splashdowns. They got at least two rollers there. We got a bunch too. It's like rollers all over the place. The steam uh, popping out when you respawn is kind of cool. I like the redesign for the spawn point. Let's see if we can maybe 
take him out here before he... Nope! <laughs> I, I got lucky on that first shot, but he centered his aim and took me out. I like those wraparound headphones on the one inkling. That's like the, the poster look for this game, that one. The two two inklings, the girl inkling with the short tentacles and then the, the boy one with those uh, headphones and that kind of up hairdo. Where'd you go? I see you there. Get this guy. There we go. Somebody else over here somewhere. If we hurry, we might be able to get enough turf to actually take this. Go, 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 go. Get a bunch. We might have brought that back because that was, yeah, that was going real south partway through. There's the map. That barcode, I'm really curious if that actually has any data attached to it. Like you get a you get a download of your map's ink percentage and stuff or something if you scan it. I don't know if they're, yeah. Okay. Man, that, that really came back from almost losing. We'll do one more with the splatter shot here. And then I'm going to uh, maybe switch to the charger for a little bit. I think the right stick brings the volume up and down because it's real low when you don't use it. We got all these effects. They're just going crazy on the buttons to see what some of them do to the music there. Okay, back on the reef. The pigeons are fat. The ink is ready to fly. And uh, I'm going to do one more. I think we got... Oh, no, we're missing a charger. But other than that, our teams are, like, identical here, I think. I got the kid with the, the sideways visor, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, not seeing as many Charger players, I think, because the the, uh, the Charger special is kind of underrated right now, the Stingray, but that thing is scary. I, uh, I kind of underestimated it a little bit, too, as well, when my was, I was playing the, uh, the earlier versions of this stuff, but it definitely feels like the, uh, the Charger can sit in a good spot and kind of, you know, camp when they need to, and then when they find someone hiding, there's no way they're going to be able to get out of the way if they're really just kind of sitting in one spot. They can be taken out by the, the Stingray or the Charger Shot. It's like they got several options for, for taking somebody out that is really sticking to a corner or even hiding behind stuff. That's how scary that Stingray is. Feels like we're missing some... There they are. Come back here, buddy. Let's see if I can get into a good spot. That roller's probably... He's pushing in. Throw a couple of burst bombs in and maybe... Nope. I'm gonna get him. There we go. Yeah. I don't need to bother with the burst bombs on a lot of these guys. Let's see how many we can lock onto here. Oops. Yeah, trying to get all four of the opposing team using the... Uh... Oh. Get him, get him, get him. There's two rollers here. Can I get both of them? Oh, we got multiple guys. There he goes. All right. Here comes the dualies. We got him, too. Uh, the, uh, the Tenta missiles, though, yeah, you can fire up to 16 missiles with it, if I didn't explain that yet, and, uh, you have to lock on to people to get four per player, so it's, like, you're very rarely gonna get all four players locked on, because they gotta be close together, so it encourages teams to maybe not group up and spread out a little bit more than they might normally. Let's see if I can keep this bridge locked down a bit, because I know this is a popular place for the rollers to try to push in. There's one right there. Get him, get him, get him. He's not going for it. Ooh, we got a couple of guys over here. That one's going around the side. Oh, man, they're all over the place. He tried to throw the Tenta missiles there. Somebody's going down. Yeah, here they come. They're back there. Here it comes. Let's see if we can get her. Get him, get him. Ooh, jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> I could probably do this and then... Nope. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> that backfired a little bit on me. I was locked onto that roller, but it didn't didn't work out how I wanted. Here they come. There we go, yeah. Getting some close calls, trying to press my luck playing chicken with a roller rolling right at me. Alright, doing okay. Trying to cover up some of the ink that they made all over this place. Is there? Oh no, we got people jumping all over. That means they might push in. I gotta keep the center locked down. Half my team is dead, potentially. Couple going there, right there. They're using their splashdown. Got one. Got the other. Keep this inked, and we got it. Okay. After that win, I think it's time to go to the Charger, even if it might end up in a loss. There we go. It's kind of strange. You can pull up the map literally like, pretty much any time during the match. It's like, pull it up when you're respawning. Pull it up when the match is over. <laughs> and it, it's just a different perspective compared to what you see from Judd and everything. Okay. Jumping off of the, the splatter shot onto the Charger. 
And, uh, yeah, I, I did adjust my sensitivity a lot, uh, right at the beginning before I started. I did that in the, the other stream as well, but you can kind of mess with that and your camera sensitivity as well as put ink color lock on if you find the colors a little too close together. There's kind of a purpley blue and a pink that were really close, so if you're having trouble with that differentiating colors, then that's a, an option that we got in here. Same as the, uh, the main game and everything. So all that stuff returning. Let's see. So Chicken Fuzzy Wing says, I want an alternate dually set with Splat Bombs and the Tenta Missiles. I wonder if... The Curling Bomb's been more useful than I was thinking, but I wonder if they put that on the dually set to promote people to try all the new stuff at once, but also maybe a little bit of a handicap for the duallys because they can't just use the familiar sub-weapons. And uh, Monochrome Nekobu says, how's the, uh, this round of the test fire going? Pretty good so far. We haven't lost too many matches, but we are switching to the charger, so we'll see how this goes. But I want you guys to be able to see the other specials. So I did mention before, but it's cool how the, the charger, the splatter shot, and the roller all have their original sub-weapons now because they swapped the curling bombs off the roller. So it's like playing... Splatoon for the first time in the first game and having all your weapons, you know, when you unlock them. It's very familiar if you stuck with the base weapons this whole time. So we got a charger to deal with. I'm going to shoot this skateboard and then move in here. But yeah, trying to uh, trying to get used to holding your charge, it's very counter. I haven't played much chargers. You know, many, many chargers. I played more bamboozler probably than some of the other charger weapons. But yeah, it's like trying to hold the charge is such a strange alien concept to most Splatoon players, I'm sure, so it can be a little weird to get used to. I gotta get out of here, though, because we got somebody popping over here. And then also, yeah, the, the Tenta missile is not too tough to avoid, actually, so it's kind of strange that they... Ooh, I got him at least. The Tenta missiles seem like they do cover a decent amount, especially if you lock on to everybody. But at the same time, compared to uh, an Ink Strike, it doesn't seem to really cover that much consistently. You got it. It depends on how many players you lock on, and then it's also like it's pretty easy to avoid, seemingly. Ooh, almost. There we go. All right. Got to look for those crosshairs. It seems a little easier to judge when you're ready to let go in this game. Maybe it's just because I'm playing more of the charger than I used to, <laughs> but it does seem like uh, maybe charger is working a bit better for me this time around. I know there's somebody over here. Just saw him. I'm gonna try to get into a good spot and then. Maybe get my uh, sting stingray going here. So it's right there, so I can kind of fire through. It's even hard to see. Oh, it can't shoot. And maybe can't shoot through the uh, the inflatable part right there. Yeah, stingray is so strange. It's like able to fire through most walls. It's definitely powerful, but it moves so slow that you're gonna have a rough time trying to uh, to actually get it to kill someone unless you're really locked onto it. You know, you know exactly where they are. Charger on the bridge over here. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Should have gone forward instead of back, because, yeah, I didn't realize that charger was so close. There's a good shot of the Stingray, though. But, yeah, the uh, the Stingray, I feel like it's going to take a big learning curve to actually learn how to use it correctly. I definitely don't have it down much, because I haven't played much of this set. But at the same time, I think it's going to be one of the scariest things. It already kind of is. Someone who knows what they're doing with that special is going to be pretty pretty scary to uh, to encounter because you can see it just you know targeting you from so far away let's try to squid and then there we go almost worked there not quite <laughs> I gotta remember it like I said trying to remember to actually hold your charge is kind of a weird thing in this game we got this going let's see if we can get him right, right there shoot him through the wall potentially Ooh, got someone right there as well yeah, see how many hits it actually takes to take him down? It does last quite a while, which is definitely a plus for the Stingray. It seems to be longer lasting than most of the other specials, even without, you know, any type of boost to how long it actually goes. <laughs> this is a close match here where I really need to get some more turf in the center. We might still have it. They all started to pop out at the same time because we kind of wiped their team. But there we go! It's, uh, it's nice having a, a mix of players and not being stuck in uh, in ranked mode where everybody is really good. <laughs> or playing with you guys, you know. Not to complain, but a lot of the people in the chat and that tune into my Splatoon 1 streams are so good at this game that it makes me feel like it's, uh, it's rough competing. So it's kind of nice to be able to play a Charger, not play it perfectly f by far, and actually <laughs> help my team and win a match. Let's see. 
Hmm. Matthew says, honestly, the controls seem like you have to get used to them, Gim. I actually feel like they're they're pretty similar in most ways. The only thing that's tripping up a lot of players is the uh, the jump button is not, you know, X anymore because the stick on the Joy-Cons and the Pro Controller and everything, the right stick is below your buttons. So it's a little weird to get used to. I have been playing Zelda, though, with the jump button on B, which is the same button for Splatoon 2. So I actually have not accidentally opened my map when I was trying to jump at all since we started the test fire. So I, I kind of think that's a better way to play Zelda, too, because then you can sprint and kind of roll over the jump button. I mentioned that in those videos. But yeah, that's the biggest learning curve I've seen with people. It's almost like a learning curve specifically for people who played Splatoon 1, where they have to adapt and relearn the jump button. But because of the stick placement, I feel like it's kind of just like flipping things around anyways. It feels more natural having it so close to the camera, the right stick. I got the crazy beehive hairdo thing. I don't know what to call it, but it's a piled high, like tied top knot in a way that it's all the way at the top of this guy's head. I think it's a, a inkling boy hairstyle, but yeah, this feels like a, a hairstyle that actually reveals where you are to your your enemies a little easier. So it's like I don't know about that. Somebody's locked on to me. Gotta be careful. You kind of want to wait till they fire the uh, fire the Tenta missiles. I had to focus there for a second. See, so yeah, they don't actually cover that much ground. But yeah, they kind of want to wait till they fire the Tenta missiles to actually get out there and. Uh, and try to get, you know, move out of the way. Get very focused when I use my special. Because if you start to move before the Tenta missiles fire, then they're gonna track you as you move and kinda limit your potential escape routes. So that's a that's a tip about those, at least. Let's see if I can get up here. This is a good sniping spot. I don't, they actually have, yeah, they've got one charger. Managed to hit someone randomly with that bomb I threw. They've got one charger on their team, so might be able to, uh, compete with them well enough to keep this locked down. Maybe I will move into the middle. It's gonna be a little tough here. You can jump to it, which is good. I was gonna say, might be too far to jump to, but again, pretty compact map with uh, a lot of space to, a lot of space to turf, but it still feels very like you can get across the map so fast that maybe not worth doing any super jumping. Ooh, almost. There they go, maybe? Nope. I think this is time for a stingray, because I see a couple, ooh, somebody's over here. See how slow this turns, though? So it's like, you really need to know where you want to shoot before you get it going, and then you can't actually cancel it, really. It's just always shooting out of your control, almost. And, uh, really tough to... Oh, nope, nope. He's gonna try to super jump there. Let's see if I can get him in time. Oh, nope. Oh. <laughs> I feel horrible getting crushed by a roller, because that's one of the easiest ways to avoid getting, you know, taken out, but yeah, it's a little tough with the charger to react in time if I miss my charge. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Stingray, it's one of those specials where you're locked into that. It's so so powerful when you you know what you're doing with it, but at the same time it's like, it can be real bad and uh, a hindrance if you accidentally fire it off when you don't want to, and you know, stuff like that. So we can get one of the other chargers here. This is all about turf now, though. Try to actually charge and Oh, almost. I can't... <laughs> can't really get that going from there. I did manage to get him, though. All right, let's see if we can squid in. Somebody's gonna try to get close to me, because they are, uh... Yep, dualies, of course. There goes that charger with its ink, uh... What's it? <laughs> Stingray. Keeping all this stuff organized in my mind while we're in the middle of playing is, uh, always been tough, but now we got all this new stuff to try to remember. There we go. All right. Two really nice matches with the charger, I felt. I don't know. I, uh, I think I did pretty well compared to how I usually do with the charger. It does a fist pump and kind of turns. I got to pay attention to these these win animations because they are nice. We got seven splats. A couple of those were with the splat bombs and the, the stingray, but I think I got some good snipes there. All right. So let's, uh, I'm going to go back to the dualies because I want to play more of these. Like I mentioned, I think this is the, the shooter weapon that I want to get good with because... I like the spread, I like the having the ability to roll out of the way of charge shots, It's it's got a lot of versatility. It just has short range, and uh, doesn't splat as fast, you gotta, gotta get that roll going to, you know, put your reticles together, take people out faster. Okay, Gamer Boy says do the dualies, that's what we're doing! We got him, and we're going back to the reef here. Okay, I feel like uh, 
Muscle Forge Fitness. I might like that map a little bit better than the Reef, but it's uh, something where I'm still adapting to how the layout is, because I had not played it before tonight. So yeah, it's uh, a little tougher to learn the layout on the fly, but that's part of, you know, what we're doing here. We're testing out the game. Okay, we going to be careful, and I need to remember, you know, what special I have. Oh, I held that down a little bit too long. Sometimes you hold stuff down to aim, so it's a little counter to try to remember that uh, you got to throw that curling bomb out as fast as possible if you actually want to get the most range out of it. I do have my... Oh, I hear it. Inks. A, uh, there we go. A stingray going on. Most stuff is like ink or splat, so stingray is uh, doesn't quite roll off the tongue as easily compared to most of the other stuff. Let's see if we can get in here and... Nope. There we go. Oh no, he's still alive and he got me. I shouldn't have aimed away. You gotta confirm that splat before you aim away, because the uh, the ink ink jet is not the best at uh, at doing splash damage. It does have a you know pretty powerful shot, but you gotta be mostly accurate if you actually wanna get the splat. Got someone over here. Oh no. Ah, jeez. I couldn't back up to. Uh, I should have just rolled towards him. Jared went through the girders at the top of the map. <laughs> I saw someone say, there's cool, like, monorail going on up there. Uh, I saw someone actually super jump and accidentally get stuck in the rafters of the, the gym, Muscle Forge Fitness, so there's weird stuff that can happen, as usual. All right, let me see if we can actually get in here, and maybe I'll roll around and, oop, if I can roll when I'm, oh yeah, I gotta remember to fire to actually get the roll going. Gotta be moving. It's like, you wanna save your ink most of the time. Oop, there we go. Oop. They're moving all over the place. There we go. I got one of them. I'm gonna go there, most likely. Oh, and then I'm in a bad spot because I revealed myself. You know, my spot where I was at. If we can get in and actually take him down fast enough. Oh. Ah, almost had him. But no damage. Yeah, it's another thing to get used to. If you use damage up a lot, it's uh, it's kind of tough to get used to not. You know, you gotta hit people a lot more to actually take them out. We have the base abilities, you know, ink recovery, up, special saver, and uh, quick respawn, I believe, are the three that we're using, just like the other test fire. Gotta keep my ink high, because if you're trying to use that roll, it's gonna use a lot of the ink that you got. Let me throw one of these down there. Oh no, <laughs> hit the wrong spot with that. Let's see if we can throw one of these here. And they'll go this way. There we go. Oh no. Man, they're really ganging up on me here. There we go, all right. Try to get the rest of this covered as much as I can because this is close enough where it would be nice to actually get this. Ooh. Try to jump up and fire as much as I can. There we go, ooh. <laughs> yeah, trying to train my brain to keep firing when I want to roll out of the way. It's like usually you would want to go into squid form to kind of duck out of the way, but you gotta keep firing and then hit jump to to do those tactical rolls. It's gonna take quite a bit of training, you know, practice, I think, before I can re reliably roll the way I want and hit somebody, but st starting to get the hang of it. Let's do another one with the dualies. Let's see. When the game actually comes out, yep, we can, we'll have, yeah, I know a lot of people were saying that the uh, the map selection, they're both really compact. They're pretty similar maps. Doesn't feel too different to, uh, to how the first uh, test fires were. We, salt spray is quite a bit different from Walleye Warehouse if you played the first game, but I think the uh, the early maps are usually more simple so people can grasp the, uh, the the base concept of the game, shooting ink and covering turf and whatnot, and then later we'll get the more complicated stuff. We know that Moray Towers is coming back with those ink rails to go around on, so they're, they're not afraid to add in crazy stuff. Like, I wonder if we're going to get the sponges from single player in the first game, or invisible things that you can ink. I don't know if they would do that, but stuff like that might find its way into multiplayer with this new game. Okay. Do you like the new font in the game, says Joshua, dude? I haven't really noticed it in a negative way. It's been, you know, I think it looks good. It's, it's yeah, similar to the Splatoon 1 font. I think people were complaining that they didn't like it. I saw some people, yeah. There's a couple people on the uh, the Spl Splatoon subreddit and stuff who new often means, you know, too different for a lot of people that are super invested in an older thing. It's like, man, this is all different. It's kind of scary. Not that you can't not like the font, obviously. If you don't think it, it looks good, that's up to you. But yeah, I think it's one of those, like, 
kind of parts of the game where, yeah, or parts of the uh, the development where people aren't going to be used to all the new stuff, so they might just inherently not like it. But we'll see how it goes as uh, as we see more and more of it, and when the game's finally out here, I think we're most likely. I feel like we're going to have the. Uh, late summer release that has been kind of predicted, because if they're making a whole single player mode and everything, it's like, they spent, the developers spent a long time working on, uh, trying to get, here we go, trying to get Splatoon, uh, one stuff, content, you know, going for quite a while, you know, keeping that steadily going, so I don't know if we're gonna see Splatoon 2 at the beginning of summer, but I am excited to see all the new stuff they come up with, like, the new single player thing, you know, campaigns and everything. I feel like it's gonna it's gonna be roughly the same length they said as the first game, but I'm I'm excited to see what new stuff they can come up with. So that was a, I think either somebody had their special charge or that was a charger holding a charge. No, we don't have any chargers, so that was their special proking, and that was that crazy lens flare there. Let's throw one of these in. Let's see if we can take them down before they get close. They're gonna jump in that way because that's a that's a better way to go. I gotta be careful because now I'm in there. Their turf, I can get snuck up on pretty easily here. They saw me there. There they go. Get him. Yeah, trying to trying to make sure I'm paying attention when I'm rolling around. Ah, uh, speaking of paying attention, I heard the sound and didn't react fast enough. So they still are called the Tenta missiles. I don't know if the de developers are going to change those like they were they were saying. The uh, Treehouse staff were thinking about other names. Artillery is a little obvious for art art artillery of a uh, you know a squid type of creature, an octopus, so it's like, I don't know if they would use that, but at the same time, I think that has a nice ring to it, let's see, there we go, barely saved myself there, see, again, this is, this is like Ink Zuka, but you really need to be paying attention to what you're, how you're using it, you can't just throw it out there and, uh, expect to survive too long, because you're a huge sitting target, with this new, uh, oh, we can, oh no, I ran out of ink, man, that's another thing that my buddy got him with the roll. That's another big thing with the dualies. I think some type of ink saver is uh, ink saver main is going to be really good. I feel like with this set because you use so much of your ink rolling around, especially if you're trying to trying to use that. You really need a full tank if you want to do multiple tactical rolls. There we go, like so. All right, we need a little more in the center here, most likely. I didn't mean to roll. <laughs> Sometimes I'm trying to jump and I. Accidentally fire. I almost got him. Purple splot right on his eyelid. Okay. There we go. So we are gonna stick with. I might stick with the dualies for a little bit longer here. If you guys do want to see more of the other weapons, let me know because they got new features. But the dualies are really the ones that have stand, you know, stood out as the the brand new weapon, obviously. So they're something that I gotta get used to. <laughs> his paint mask. I like that striped shirt, but yeah, the uh, the kind of cleaners Matt he looks like he's gonna go spray paint some graffiti but they got ink right on their back that they can blast out so it seems like graffiti would be just kind of like if you caught someone in the city you know you're a police officer catching someone doing graffiti in Inkopolis it's like mm, a wag of the finger but that's gonna go away within five minutes because it's probably your ink let's see team Cali versus Marie met battles in the uh, in the chat Marie definitely isn't dead I know that was a rumor she's just you know the developer said she was busy. I think that the Squid Sisters probably broke up. We're going to see that in the story, most likely. Let's see. Matthew is just asking, yeah, what do you think happened to the Squid Sisters? I think part of the uh, the plot of Splatoon 2 is going to be a reunion tour, and then I bet the Splatfests are going to start once, you know, people have had time to do that sort of thing and, and help them find each other. Although, yeah, that is a that would be kind of weird if the Splatfest started and maybe you hadn't completed single player and helped Callie and Marie reunite or whatever might happen. So I don't know if they would set that up and then have the Splatfest either way, even if you haven't completed that sort of thing. Okay, this is when somebody's going to be going across the bridge, which is good to oop, try to be careful. Oh, man, tried to tactical roll there and uh, get out of the way, but his charge was ready. I had him and I felt like I... Uh, didn't quite get him down in time. There's a skateboard there that I, I like that you can ink the car, you can ink the skateboard. Like, there's a lot of side stuff all around here for you to get distracted with if you wanted to. Okay, this is a good time to go in, I think. I'm gonna lose some height, obviously. It's so tough with the, uh, with the inkjet to actually get enough of a, uh, vantage point, because you do dip down with the 
whatever type of terrain you're on with the level of it. So it's like, if you're not careful, you're just going to dip way down and not be able to actually... That was weird. I think the roller, like, backed up a little bit from the game, trying to catch up with itself. They might not have the best connection. Got a bomb going in. Oh, man. What did I... I got hit by their curling bomb. Okay. Angelo's about to get splashed down, though. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, if I was playing more, I'd probably super jump more if I was playing more of the uh, the splat roller, because the splashdown really is nice as a way to super jump into uh, combat. There we go. Yes, yeah, it takes quite a few shots there with the dualies to actually take anyone down. So it does feel like it's worth using your ink to actually get that roll going to do more damage quicker. Just something that I gotta get used to. Oop. Yeah, he just dove off. Not quick enough taking these guys out. He's gonna go right into that, potentially, though. Nope. There he goes. Oop. Oh, look out! If I can get him in time. Yeah. So the splashdown, if you use it just, you know, willy-nilly, then you might just get into a situation where someone backs up slightly. It doesn't have as much blast radius when you're just using it from normal height. You want to at least jump a little bit to, uh, to get that going. But yeah, the, the splashdown, useful for super jumping. You just got to really be careful with when you decide to throw it out. So if you can hit that way over there. I noticed most of the specials are not great for inking. That is another theme where it's like, they can do that damage, but if you're trying to use them with ink, to ink stuff, then you're going to maybe have trouble. Well, let's see if we can get this going in time. Oh, they got out of the way. So that's how slow the, uh, that's how slow the dualies actually fire. I got to remember to try to roll back, too, if I want to get that going. Yeah, so you can, you can roll backwards out of the way. That's maybe the better way to do it if you're in a lot of these situations where someone is running you down. There we go. Okay. Man, yeah, that was a pretty good match. I was a little worried. We had some we had some rough spots, but I'm starting to get down the rolls. I don't know about rolling twice unless you really need to, because that's going to be a lot of time where you can't shoot, because there's, there's that hesitation after you roll where you're not able to do much. 97, that's a good year. It looks like the year his uh, track jacket came out. <laughs> He's wearing the, uh, the outfit of 1997. Okay. Let's see, do you think it'll be another test fire in the future, says Bellacoon01. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure, we have so much time before the game comes out, we have months. I bet they're going to do multiple ones of these. And if we're lucky, we'll get some different maps in there, too, and maybe more weapon sets. They might stick with these four weapons, but I could see them saying, hey, the concert hall stage is, is ready, the, the amphitheater, or Moray Towers, or something like that. I'm excited to see a revamped Moray Towers, but I think I can wait till the game comes out for that. I'd probably rather see new stages if they got them ready. Let's do some remix in here. Yeah, there's like reverb and faders and whatnot. I'm trying to figure out what all the buttons do with the music here. Whoop. Sounds like we're rewinding. Whoop. Someone's gonna make a really cool song with this using the game engine. <laughs> kind of like how you can make music on the, uh, the password screen when you're doing private battles, because it does have little notes and stuff. Okay, let's see. Blue Arrow wants to see the Splat Roller. We did play a little bit of it before, but yeah, maybe we'll we'll finish up. We'll, we could switch off to the Splat Roller, and then maybe I'll go back to the Dooleys for the last matches here. But uh, yeah, so we got a full three Dooleys. So three Dooleys to deal with, as well as a Roller. I gotta be careful about rolling all over, the, everybody rolling all over the place. They're gonna be, they're all blue too, so they're probably rolling around at the speed of sound. Send that in. Yeah, occasionally, especially at the start of the match, I've noticed a little bit of uh, connection issues at times where it can be trouble to, it can, it can be weird where the, the game seems to slow down slightly to try to keep up. Oh, jeez, there he goes. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> okay, somebody got him at least. Somebody's right there, aren't they? Oh, inkjet battle. Nope. Oh, I can't go on the vent. <laughs> the grate. I did hear that, where it's tough to actually go over grates. It, like, really pushes you down all the way to the, the ground there, I think. Let's see if we can get one of my curling bombs bouncing around here, because they're really taking over this side area. Yeah, they don't... The curling bombs, it's nice that they bounce and uh, cover turf, but they don't really go that far, necessarily. It's like, a seeker probably could go for, for farther if you really hit it at the right spot, but... Especially with these maps, it definitely feels like they wanted to make sure the, uh, the Seekers actually... Oop. 
Seeker, uh, you know, the, the new Seeker, the Curling Bomb, I think is just going to completely replace the Seeker, because if you had a Seeker on one of these compact maps, it doesn't seem like you'd be able to really do much and uh, have it go that far because of the, uh, the setup we got here with having so many walls and not as many straightaways. We gotta... Yeah, I'm trying to... I, I do this a lot in ranked mode where I try to lock down a corner, but I really got to get over and try to get towards the center a bit more. It's just trying not to get snuck up on here. Okay, Let's see if we can get into their turf and cover some of this. But it's just kind of tough. You're really a sitting duck when you go out onto certain parts of the map. I saw someone there. There we go. Where are they? There we go. Yeah, I couldn't tell if they were ink jetting there or what that was, but got him. Okay. Get him. There's a couple guys there. There's one right here. Ah. Get him. <laughs> He's rolling around. I'm in a bad spot. Hopefully no one's waiting for me. Seemed like they were. Yep. Get him. Ah, oh, man. I rolled, got a couple shots, and then couldn't finish him off in time. Pedro, he's got a rude awakening behind him, though. There's a there's a vertical flick from, was that Tanuki Man? I'm trying to keep up with everybody's names here. Okay, let's see if we can get in. He's uh, very vulnerable without much ink there. Oh, can we get... Ah, oh, man, I rolled back, and then, yeah, that hesitation. That was what I was warning about. You really don't want to roll too much because you're making yourself vulnerable. This is easily going to go backwards, and uh, we're going to lose this if we're not careful. We can get this side area, maybe down in the middle, quick enough to win this. If we're fast, we maybe can. Nope, they're back there. I'm trying to get around here. They're going to be chasing me. Ah. <laughs> Had that roller trying to back me up, but well, pretty close. I think they might have it, though. We got a lot of the middle, but they kind of pushed in enough where, yep. Yeah, that looks a lot closer than it was. We almost had 50% of the map, but Judd Jr. wins, and gotta, you know, respect that. Let that cat get a couple of wins here. Okay, we're gonna switch to the Splat Roller, because that was requested in the chat. The sad twirl of the Dooleys. I feel bad. Oops. We went right back to it. It was like fate wanted me to go back to the Dooleys, but we're gonna um, do a at least one match with the, the roller again, because that was requested. And then, yeah, Kawhi Soph wants to see Vertical Flick. That's what we're going to do. That's the new feature. And then maybe we could even finish up with the roller. If you guys want to see more duelies or whatnot, let me know. We got four more of these to do, and we'll get, you know, ample time to test this stuff out. So let's mess up this music here in an artsy way. No, <laughs> it's art. <laughs> Just randomly hitting buttons and stuff. Yeah, I gotta learn what all of them do. Someone's gonna figure this out and tell us all the effects. I wonder if this is like an echo effect or no. Seems to be the volume. Okay. There's definitely like a repeat button on the control pad. But yeah, so we have four more streams to go. If you want to tune in to those, the times are Eastern Time, tomorrow morning, 7, 7 to 8 a.m., then 3 to 4, then 11 to midnight again. So we're going to have three streams tomorrow. Hopefully you guys are, you know, up for that. Ooh, this is the first time I think that's happened. We're going to get a new lobby going. And then uh, one more Sunday, 7 to 8 a.m. Eastern. So they're all kind of spread over the days so that people in all regions of the world can try to play. But I am going to do my best to play all six of them. That's my goal. There's only, you know, a handful, of, I think, eight hours between each one. But that's enough for me to nap and, and get powered, you know, eat some food, get some coffee, be ready to go again. So yeah, we'll have more of those. Definitely check them out after the fact if you missed any of them. And uh, ooh, we got a nice balanced team. No charger though, but they don't have one either. We got two dually. Oh no, I'm the, <laughs> I was like, I'm one of the two duallys. No, I'm not. I'm a roller. And that was the way that I used to play. So I think maybe somewhere inside I'm a roller, you know, deep, deep within. That's my... <laughs> destined weapon. They don't have a charger, so somebody's close by. You can see him there. They go over the side. See if we can stop him. There they are. Somebody else finished him off. Yeah, even if I can't take him out, it is nice to have the uh, the ability to weaken him a little bit. I should probably try to jump off the bridge, because that's a really good way to use the... Uh, it's a good way to use the splashdown on this map. Is Even if you're not... Uh, on the bridge, it's nice to have that splashdown because then you can get a uh, pretty good splat above it. I managed to kill somebody that was on the bridge with my uh, 
splash down from underneath, which is really weird to see. If we could get into a good spot here and then jump off of this and then maybe splash down. Oh, they got out of the way. They're learning. People are already learning. They're no fools. They've adapted already by the second Splatfest. Or <laughs> Global Test Fire. We're not in Splatfest yet. We got a while for those, I'm sure. We gotta have the game release and then they'll start doing that. Got somebody with a splatter shot right there. Man, I thought I had him. Gotta jump in here and get him. Oh, there goes the Tenta missiles, though. And I gotta. Jeez. Oh, I was like, I gotta get down here and get out of the way because I saw the inkjet and everything. Vertical flick is really cool, yeah. Uh, Hara Chant said it's really interesting. It is very strange to get used to, though. It's something that I gotta relearn. I already feel like I'm, you know, adapting well enough, but you gotta relearn what your, uh, your play style is gonna be like, because if you happen to jump, you can still jump and then, or, like, get a flick going and then jump, I believe, to, yeah, you can do kind of a short hop horizontal flick, so it's not impossible to do horizontal flicks with the, the rollers or anything. I wonder if we could do another jump off here into a good spot. Got someone right there trying to jump in, and that was not a good use of that, but that's okay. Kind of hidden here. Oh, there we go. Don't want to usually do that too often, just rolling over people like that, but it works when you need it. Oh, let's see if we can take them out up there. I'm going to make sure I got enough ink going, because they're all starting to get respawned on that ledge there. Someone's going another way. Trying to use some sneaking tactics. One of those in and do a vertical flick. Yeah, we're locking this spot down here well enough where we might be okay to win this. Somebody took that guy out before I could. Just trying to go in and do that. Somewhere right there. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Should have saved that, but I knew the timer was running out. I was just like, bam. Gotta punch the ground. That's probably the most fun uh, special to use of the new ones. The inkjet seems like it might be the most popular. We just see a lot of the splat dualies anyways, but the inkjet, the jetpack, is uh, pretty popular. It just doesn't see... Oh, Daniel. We lost Daniel so on the other teams. So that was why that kind of went that way. We have a 90, 1999 look. Let me do the... Yeah, we're going to finish up with the dualies, I think, just because I want to get some more practice with those. But, but yeah, I think the splashdown, probably my favorite of the new specials, might be the most like iconic of this new game and then uh yeah the other one's pretty good i just think that there's very situational all of them have have a time and a place to use which i think is the point the uh the specials no longer drive the match as much as they used to i think so i'm really happy to see that i think that's one of my biggest complaints with splatoon 1 is that when you get to you know high level play and stuff it's really like tower control everybody bubble use uh especially abilities too like use the uh Quick, uh, quick respawn, stealth jump, all that stuff. Like a lot of the abilities and the specials, Ink Zuka, Kraken, Bubbler, that stuff really dominated certain modes. And and yeah, I'm happy to see that they're really rebalancing stuff and putting all these new specials in. This will probably be the final match of tonight, and then it'll be tomorrow. But we got, of course, four more global test fires ahead. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to leave a like, I really do appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, you know. Playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, that is an amazing game. Definitely check that out if you haven't. And we'll have more Splatoon. ARMS is coming up. We got Mario Kart. I'm going to start adding people on the Switch Friends list for Mario Kart tournaments, because that is pretty soon here. We're almost into April. And let's see. Uh, Chicken Fuzzy Wings said, this one feels less chaotic. Yeah, I think it is a little bit easier to parse what's happening. You don't have someone popping up with an Inkzuka and just blasting you out of nowhere. You usually know why you died, and it's... Yeah. Let's see, Ch -ch -ch. check in the chat here as we get down to the last few minutes. I hope we can get one more match in here because we're getting towards the end and it's uh, you can't really back out, you, they lock you in a little bit. Uh, Kawhi Soph wants to see the Splat Charger. I did play a couple matches. There we go, we got Skyrim in here <laughs> and uh, Skyrim on the Switch. That is coming sometime. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have one more match here. I'll have more Splat Charger next time, you know, the next stream for you, Soph. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to gonna finish up with the dualies I think and maybe we'll see if we can get into another match Ooh, got a good ink color I really like this isn't quite the I don't think yeah this maybe is the squid girl blue color that they added to the first game a little later on so I'm happy to see that return I feel like I, I really love green just as a color it's my favorite color usually like a dark kind of foresty earthy green but 
it feels like this blue is so nice looking that it might have changed my uh, my opinion on my favorite color. I don't know. I really really like this blue. Let's see if we can kind of hide back here with our ink jet and maybe get someone. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> we we got to see three out of four. There might have been a splash down in there somewhere. I couldn't tell because the Tenta missiles were raining down over my head as I used the ink jet, and then we had the uh, the stingray start up at the end there. So that was a that was a good grab bag of all the different specials for the most part. Yeah, the range on this is not so hot, so I gotta be careful here. We got somebody with the ink jet who's blasting us from over to the side. There we go. Out rolled the ooh, rolly boy. Ooh, gonna blast that maybe. We can get around here and then pop right up and take him out. There they go. Yeah, all right. We got multiple ink jets going too. Hopefully we'll get some of these guys. Somebody's back there. I do like the, the ink jet. It it's, would be a nice way to get into enemy territory, but I really actually do like that it takes you back into safety. So it doesn't feel that risky because you might be headed into enemy territory a lot of the time if you're using it. But then you're like, okay, I'm resetting here. I'm super jumping back to whence I came. Ooh. Let's see if I can throw it. I'm trying to be careful with my. Ooh. Try and be careful with my curling bombs and, uh, you know, my ink levels if I want to roll. i got to keep my ink levels high. Ooh, we got someone right there. We can roll over and get them in time. Ooh, man. They think that, you know, they jumped away before I could take them out. The ink jet, it does, yeah, it is nice that it does save you. It does really, it feels like the new ink Zuka in a way. I think I mentioned that before, but it's nice to have an ink Zuka that is, uh, it's not too, uh, not too powerful in a lot of ways. It feels like that special, they tried to balance it by really making the special take a lot to charge up, but in the end, it feels like the Ink Zuka was just maybe too good for this world. <laughs> there we go, man. Took a lot to uh, do there. Ooh, had somebody helping me. No, I rolled into another blast as I was trying to get back in there. Come on, Ash. Get him. Catch that guy. I was going to say, catch them all. <laughs> that wasn't, yeah. All right. Not in this game yet. One thing that would be really cool to see with Splatoon 2, now that Splatoon has uh, made a name for itself on its own two legs, or eight or whatever, it would be cool to see the uh, other Nintendo franchises get in on this, almost like Mario Kart. Like get a, get a, ooh, man, that was a, not a risk I should have taken. I got outranged by the splatter shot. But yeah, it'd be nice to see more stuff, you know, if they're going to add in costumes and stuff. A Pokemon trainer hat? That would be cool. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. We're gonna see if we can get into another match here, but I'm, I'm expecting that to be the last one, because we've gone over the limit. It'll still go a little bit more, maybe. We'll see. Got over a thousand turf, even without the bonus, so that's not too bad, but didn't do so hot in the end there. Let's see if we can get one more match. If not, that's gonna be it. I do like the, uh, I have to mention the, the loss music does not make you feel so bad about losing. They have, I wonder if they heard some complaints about people being like, man, that really kicks you when you're down, that music in the first game. It's a little bit, you know, not as sad. We got another match, okay. So there we go, we're gonna do another one. Uh, but yeah, also the fact that Judd Jr., or the, whatever the little cat's name is gonna be, is, uh, is there when you lose. He's always on the bad guy's side, so it feels like at least that little guy's happy. So they've done a couple things to make the make the loss a little less hurtful, but uh, we got a charger on their end, so I gotta be really careful here. Typically, people playing the chargers in the test fire, other than me, are pretty good with them. <laughs> so it seems like uh, kind of a risk to go out in the open when you know the other team has a charger. And it's like, yeah, even if you, I I tend to be looking at the chat and stuff between matches, so it's really nice to see that they tell you all of the, uh, the weapons, even afterwards. I'm gonna really ink the side of this so that we can get up easily. But it's nice to see that they, you know, give you a heads up on what the weapons are during the match. You can always just look down and see that. We do have the charger way back there. We can stop them here. There they go. Man, yeah, you gotta be so precise with this. It definitely does not take someone to, uh, you saw I kind of hit around him three times and it took the last shot to finally take him down. So you gotta be pretty careful with uh, with your shots with the inkjet. Cause yeah, it's, it's tempting to just fire wildly, but if you're not careful, you're gonna 
you not be able to take them out in time, and then they'll, they'll get you. We're doing okay here. I don't know if we're, we're getting lucky because that charger is dead, but it feels like the other side is uh, having trouble pushing in. I don't want to stray from the middle too far, but let's try to get some extra turf while we're at it. There's an example of me trying to jump, and then you got to make sure you don't start shooting until after you've jumped if you don't want to do that roll. Oh, we're doing okay here. Really? I don't know. Did they lose a player? Because we're down to the last few moments of the of the test fire, the, the second test fire. But again, yeah, tune in to the other ones if you can live. If not, I do appreciate you guys watching them after the fact when they become videos. That's not going to work. Okay, somebody else got him. <laughs> I was going to say, don't want to throw a curling bomb at someone when they're uh, just kind of hanging out. You can get multiple curling bombs going, which is nice. And I don't even have, uh, I do have ink refill up, but it's just one main, so it's not like it's the, you know, going to be the whole decisive factor of whether or not I can, yeah, I just wonder if you can get three of them fired if you have, like, ink saber sub, if that returns. We haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure it probably will. And then, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of other, bunch of other subs and different abilities that we have not seen yet, but I'm sure we'll return. I have a feeling, in terms of sub-weapons, though, we'll probably see the point sensor, but maybe not the echo locator, because they're redoing all the specials. And I would be okay with that, being able to track people with the point sensor, but not have a full echo locator might be okay. I think they don't want people... Yeah, it, it seems like a, a balance the issue of being able to know exactly where people are and then having somebody blast them with an ink zuka <laughs> in the first game. But who knows, yeah. We don't. We know that there's no specials returning fully, but we got that bomb rush, so I think the Echo Locator could show up in one way or the other. We got somebody up there. This is, uh, yeah, they definitely lost someone because <laughs> we were really locking that down and uh, not facing much opposition. Look at that, maybe the most coverage we've had in a match for these test fires. Nice, over 70%. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I doubt we're going to get another match out of this, but I'll give it a try. We've had a couple oh we lost two people so yeah I feel like we're not gonna be able to fill a lobby here but it was nice to get that bonus match and see a little more of the game okay connection seems pretty good just you know in general I feel like the test fire has been going well come some people having some issues I'm using a wired you know plugged in connection like I've been doing with Splatoon 1 but it does feel like for, in general it's maybe a little bit better in terms of uh oh we might have another match here <laughs> It's crazy, yeah, as long as you don't exit out of the app, they, uh, or the game, it'll, it'll keep you in there. Like, if I get kicked from this, it'll go back to the weapon select screen, and I was able to get another match before. And then I think when they completely shut things down in the next few minutes here, then we'll get booted. But we might have one more. Let's just keep it rolling. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I do, yeah, I, I keep going back and like, oh, we're getting to the video. Please leave a like. I do appreciate it, but I keep saying it over and over. I apologize. Just thinking that we're getting to the end of it. Got one more game, Ariana says. One more. Yep. I think we're gonna sneak in another one at least, and that might be it. Okay, two duallys and a charger against what? Three duallys and a roller. Lots of duallys, as expected. When we first started the the first test fire, I didn't actually see as many. I thought immediately people were just gonna go crazy with the duallys. I almost wonder if uh, people who have played the first game were like, I'm gonna use a weapon that I know a bit better before I go to the new one, you know, while I learn the map. There we go, that's all she wrote. Some nice looking green ink, but that's all we saw. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for the next test fire. Goodbye.